Hi, I'm Alien Toy Shop. I run the Chop Challenge, and today we're gonna look at the top 10 best weeks of the Chop Challenge of all time. As of week 10, in numerical order. Great, here we go. Now just to recap, what exactly is the Chop Challenge? The Chop Challenge is a weekly design challenge where you get four ingredients and you get a week to make a level. It's just for fun, and it's just to help you get out of your comfort zone and see what you come up with as a maker. Okay, here we go. Ah, week one. You never forget your first chop challenge. The ingredients for week one were Monty Moles, Piranha Plants, Vines, and Tracks. These ingredients were sent to us from the heavens, which is to say they were randomly chosen. So let's take a look at a great level from week one called Curse of the Crumbling Crypt by Mr. L. All right, so first we gotta get in here and uh, Toadette's gonna grab that coin right there. Thank you, Toadette. And then we have to venture into the cave. I cheated. I was not supposed to do that. So basically you're trying to make your way through this uh, cave to find the treasure. All the perilous stuff in here, there's dry bones and saws and has a whole bunch of moles. And then the level gets awesome. You ready? Yeah, it's breathing fire, no big deal. Here's one of the cool parts about this boss, by the way. Totally freaking brilliant. Once you hit two of those bombs up there, a mushroom comes out and goes the completely wrong way. Oh boy, all right, okay. I'm okay, I'm okay. Did we do it? There was one more up here. Nope, we did it. We did it. All right, here, ready? Oh, we missed. Oh, we missed. How did we miss? How did we miss? And <laughs> no. This is definitely my first take, of course. I haven't died several times at all. Thank you for asking. Come on, buddy. Right there. No, get your bomb. Get your bomb. Yo, go right there. How did all of them miss? How did literally all of them miss? We're good. We just gotta wait. We just gotta live. Huh. Yeah, take that. And now for our reward. We get all these coins. Look at how much fun we're having. There's a 50 up there. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm sure we just get to leave, right? It's all fine. It's all gonna be fine. Oh my God, floor it, floor it. You gotta run. You just gotta get out of there. No, mm -mm. no time. There's no time to do anything. Oh my God. Oh my God, we're dead. Oh boy. Oh gosh, oh golly gee. Here we go. Uh, we're doing it. We're actually doing pretty good. We fell. Oh boy, oh boy, I think we did it. <gasps> we did it. We did it. Oh. And we have all of our treasures. And we missed the top of the flagpole. Aren't we just a bunch of champs? Week one was pretty great. Ah, oh, week two. You'll never forget the first time you ramped the difficulty all the way up to you. Whatever comes after 10. Yeah, this was not an easy set to work with. It was booze. Hammer Bros, Twisters, and Mushroom Trampolines. Thank God for those Mushroom Trampolines because I think they saved my sanity this week. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I loved week two. It was just really hard. All right, let's take a look at Boo's Terrifying Twisters. This is a level that said, hey, I'm gonna make a Twister level. And it's a pretty dang good one. Not many people took the challenge of making a twister level, so good on you, Liam. Reach the goal of Super Mario. Well, we have failed. Better luck next time. And look at that, you're on a bunch of twisters. Now you're probably gonna miss the arrows the first time and die, and it's gonna feel terrible, but don't worry about it. So we follow the arrows, and there's our hammer bro. Oh gosh, how are we gonna, oh okay, he's gone, he's dead. Pretty cool, but there go our boxes. There's another one. 
and he's gone too. It's getting a little dicey in here, isn't it? But thank God we have a mushroom trampoline. And up we go, and we trust the coins, and we jump on this guy, and there are our twisters. We're doing great. We're doing wonderful. Bada bing, bada boom, into the pipe. Three whole one-ups. You don't even need the top of the flag, but we'll get it anyway, because we're the best. Week two, challenging. Pretty dang fun, though. Ah, oh, week three. You'll never forget the first time you used the same joke three times in a row. This week was an apology for week two. I was really sorry that I made week two so difficult. So, I made this one kind of a crowd pleaser. For the first time in Chopped History, I handpicked all the ingredients. I just picked all the ones I thought would make people happy. And you know what? It was a pretty good set. The ingredients were Wigglers, which everyone loves, Galoombas, which everyone loves, on-off switches, which everyone loves, and Pow Blocks. They're pretty good too. All right, so let's take a look at Wigglers Chop Challenge. So creative. By the one and only Life Potion. By the way, if you wanna hang out with a cool streamer, Check out Life Potion on Twitch. He loves Wigglers. Tell him the Wigglers sent you. There's a Wiggler. There's a Wiggler. Look at all these delightful rainbows. I'm delighted. Now I'm on an Angry Wiggler. Bye, Angry Wiggler. Here you can get a 10 if you do some death-defying feats. Yeah. Toadette's up to the challenge. She's the good one. More Wigglers, more Wigglers, more Wigglers, more Wigglers, even more Wigglers. And what's after that? You guessed it, more Wigglers. All the Wigglers come down, and then we there's one more Wiggler. Where do we go? Uh, uh. Oh. Mm. But all of that pales in comparison to this part. You ready? Grab ourselves one of those, grab a checkpoint, and let's get out of here. Yeah, that's right. We're on the Mega Death Wiggler. Mega Death Wiggler! Go, my Wiggler, go! Doesn't matter, just keep going. Aw, oh, we'll be consumed by the Mega Death Wiggler. Thank you for your service, Mega Death Wiggler. And look, there's one more Wiggler right down there, just minding his own business. Bye, everybody. They're all gone now. Great level, really fun week. Week four, huh? Week four was a quirky little week. And I do mean little, because it was actually the shortest week. The week was cut two days short, so that the start of week five would coincide with the release of a certain video. But more on that in a minute. Week four had thwomps, spinies, bullet bill blasters, and seesaws. This is a nice little week if you like contraptions. All right, let's jump into Sacked Spiny Skirmish by Yatso. And right off the bat, we're gonna learn something about these thwomps, yeah? Yeah, here we go, ready? Boom, they're your friends. Thwomps are your friends. Yay, yay, they're your friends. Go get your red coin. Ah, ah friends. Now what? Ah. One of the things that makes Yatsu a great maker is that he looks at things like this. Yeah. That's a good one. All right, now we're breaking out Mama Thwomp. Ready? Be free, Mammoth Womp. Nice. And there she goes. And here's just another great thing about Yatso. Ready? Yeah. 
great bonus room. And then on the next part, Mama Thwomp needs to go all the way down through this airship. And that takes a while, so we're just gonna skip all of it. We did it! Did you have fun? Me too! All right, it's time for the boss fight. Boss fight's over. We got him. GG. Quirky little week, but it is a lot of fun. Week five. <laughs> now week five coincided with the release of DGR Dave's Chopped video, where he went over some of the best levels of weeks one and two of Chopped. And DGR Dave is known for his Trolled series. How does he do that? So I wanted the people who were coming from his video to feel welcome. And so the ingredients for week five are a bit trolly. It's Cheap Cheeps, Bonsai Bills, Swinging Claws, and Hidden Blocks. Now week five is obviously great for trolls, and it's also great for speedruns and really just anything. It's a great set, and it's a lot of fun. This is a level called Gotta Be Perfect. And what I love about it is that it's a troll level. In that, it makes you think it's a troll level. But it's actually just a great level. So here's the best part of the level. Ready? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Piece of cake. I don't even need that checkpoint. You know why? Because I just have a lot of confidence in myself. I think I'm a really good player sometimes. Oh, I beat the level, cool. It's a great little level, and it's a great week. Week six was another interesting week, and the theme was going for a ride. It had dry bones, or their shells, lakitus, or their clouds, grinders, or as we like to call them, buzz saws, and peace switches. The set was good for things like exploration, because you could get a lot of different places with your different vehicles of choice. Also, Lakitu's are completely F tier. I kind of hate them, but their clouds are pretty cool. All right, Chicken Chop saw -y by Lee12. And our first goal is to jump into that thing. That'll do. That'll do, we got it. All right, let's just make our way up in here. Let's try it again. One more time. There we go. And you'll see here, this is a red coin level. Now here's something that's interesting about this level, and that's that there's two safety coins. That's something I've never seen. I guess they had a bonus one just lying around. So there you go. There's your bonus coin. And it, uh, it's symmetrical. It looks pretty. I like it. All right, let's take a look at some of the red coin sections. Here you're like bouncing over some dry bones and you get yourself a shell and you have to do some craze jumps like that. Bouncy, 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 bounce. Let's go into the P-Switch shell thing. All right, up we go. Just kidding. Just kidding again. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. If you like the P-Switch music, this is, uh, this is the week for you. All right, here's the last one. It's probably the most difficult. There's just a lot of little sections here. Race through there, excuse me. And if you're really fast, here's a pro tip. You just do that. That wasn't what I was going to do, but it works too. Now we've got all four of the ones that we needed to, 
And we can go grab our two safety coins. We did it. In we go. All right, here we go. No. No. Just kidding. How does she look through the saw? We went for a ride. It was pretty fun. Week seven. So week seven brought us another thing that you could ride, and that is your good friend Yoshi, who is not a tool. He's your friend. It also had spike tops, fish bones, and lifts. This is a good week if you love Yoshi, love throwing Yoshi into a pit, or tricky little Kaizos. All right, so this is a sweet little Kaizo light called Yoshi Obstacles by JC94. And it's pretty sweet. Get a bunch of Yoshis. This is what, our third Yoshi already? Come back. Dun, 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 Yoshi, 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 Yoshi is your friend. Down we go. This is definitely my first time here, and I haven't done this a million times. We did it! Whatever! Okay, if you love Yoshi, this is your week. Huh. <sighs> Definitely my first time going through there. On to week eight. Week eight had my favorite little baddie, and that is the lovable Skip Squeak. It also had clear pipes, sting bees, and blinking blocks. This was a great set for action-y puzzles. And a lot of really good levels came out of it. I really, really enjoyed this set. All right, welcome to the Just Don't Jump Desert. It's a crazy cool level in which you're not supposed to jump. As long as you never jump, the level's pretty easy. And it's a nice level too. It's a lot of fun. Bees, 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 ah, the bees, ah, the bees. So here's the cool thing about this level. There's no clear condition which means you can jump if you want to, but if you do, everything gets angry. And now the whole level is harder, forever. Suddenly there are spikes everywhere. You might have to do an entirely separate section because you jumped and it's way harder and it has a ton of bees in it. This part's actually easier, I'm not really sure why. And instead of walking straight to the ending, we have to go the hard way. We're doing great. We're doing wonderful. Oh boy. Huh. Aww. Let's go the easy way this time. Why, thank you. And a 10, and the top of the flagpole. A lot easier. Super cool level, and really fun week. All right, week nine. This was a weird week. I picked some really weird ingredients this week, but they are interesting. It was bouncy donuts, chain chomps, cannonball cannons, and the propeller mushroom. Crazy, just crazy stuff. Honestly, I don't know what to say about this set. Because it was just really weird. Alright, this is a level called Bumping Sensation by Gasterfire. And the point is to never actually land. So we can kind of stay airborne by resetting our jumps on the donuts. The vines were a really cool inclusion in this level because they give you places to breathe in a no jump level or a no land level. I think that's really cool. All right, on to the boss fight. And it's this chain chomp in his, uh, some, some, somehow he got a car. 
All right, so one of the coolest things about the level is right here. And it's that if you have the propeller cap, you can bust through blocks with your head. Isn't that cool? No other level did that. Bada bing, bada boom. Really weird week. But some really fun levels. And finally, week 10. Now there was kind of a there was kind of a running joke throughout all the weeks that maybe next week would finally be Boom Boom Week. It's coming. Boom Boom Week is coming. Well, week 10 was Boom Boom Week. It was finally here. And the ingredients were ba bombs, donut blocks, fire bars, and the mad lad himself, Boom Boom. All right, so this is a level called Boom Factory by not you. And it starts off by saying, defeat at least five boom booms, at least. At bare minimum, five boom booms need to perish. There's one. This level had a bunch of really cool stuff in it. Like this right here. I love when you get your mushroom in a weird and interesting way. That just makes me happy. Something I like. Two boom booms. How will we get rid of this boom boom? There he goes. Three boom booms. Found another one. Uh oh. Wow, I'm garbage. And this is why you never take a fire flower you don't need. These are the pro tips you get here on this channel. All right, I want you to pay attention to this puzzle right here. Look at how much time you get to realize that your bomb is going to run into the fire bar. It's like the creator wanted you to do it on the first try. Isn't that nice? Isn't that kind? Look at how cool this boss fight is. It's so cool. All right. I have now defeated five Boom Booms. I could defeat more, if I felt like it. And now, we need to get the heck out of here. We need to go, because this whole place is falling apart. This is great, because they're using the donut blocks as tension. Oh boy, oh boy, oh, we're going the wrong way. Oh no, 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 no. Out of the way, Boom Boom. Getting out of here. Got him. Really cool traditional level, really cool traditional week. And that's it, that's all of them, and that's it. That's the first 10 weeks of Chopped. And really, we're just getting started. Next week is going to be season two, and things will get a little spicy. And by the way, no matter when you find this video, you can always make a level for the first 10 weeks of Chopped. So if something here inspired you, get making, and then come share it with me and the rest of the community. All the level codes for the levels this week are in the description below. You'll also find the link to the official Reddit thread. Be sure to check out the stream. I stream Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday. I want to play your season one levels. Make sure you come and hang out in the Chopped Discord. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're into that sort of thing. And let me know which week sounds fun to you. All right, I want to get cracking on my level. I will see you next week. Happy making. Bye.